He's a high energy guy in the energy division of Kiwi Corporation, and he's dedicated to helping children who are hearing impaired. Dan Luma is tonight's community profile. When the switch is flipped on the plaza each year, not too many people are thinking about the power supply for the lights, except someone like Dan Luma. An electrical engineering graduate from the University of Missouri at Rolla, he worked his way up the ranks at Kiwit, a Nebraska company at the center of power and engineering projects all across the country, but is home to 500 jobs in Lenexa. Kansas City, uh, again, is, uh, is one of the top centers for uh, power engineering in the country, really. Luma and his company have been involved in creating energy close to home, like the Ayatan power plant, all the way to projects in Texas, Canada, and Australia, with oil sands, nuclear, and solar energy. While many worry about where energy will come from in the future, Luma predicts the U.S. will actually be an exporter with the invention of new technologies. Innovations in, in energy production um, is really a, a fantastic opportunity for the, the next decade of growth in the country. Outside of work, Luma puts a lot of personal energy into a project that empowers children. He and his wife Tracy raise funding and awareness for St. Joseph's Institute for the Deaf, where children learn to listen and speak with the help of hearing aids and cochlear implants so they can mainstream into school and society. Two of Luma's four children were born with severe hearing impairment, but they didn't know about programs like this until their second son was diagnosed. We really didn't want any other parents to have to go through that sort of frustration. Luma's had his opportunities to move even higher in his company, but he remains committed to Kansas City, saying it's a great place to raise children with lots of opportunities to plug into a great community. Luma credits his employee-owned company for encouraging its employees to give back to the communities in which they live. And for a link to St. Joseph's Institute for the Deaf, go to our website, nbcactionnews.com. Look under Lifestyle.